Hello everyone, I'm here to do a review on the newest upgrade, the Sippo style tow mirrors for my 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. This will be an unboxing video. Alright everyone, I'm about to begin the unboxing for the Sippo tow mirrors. These are going on my 2015 Chevy Silverado. This video is just going to show you how they package them, quality, my first impressions on them. I hope these all work out. Um, just to let everyone know, I paid $170 for these online, so we'll see uh, how the quality is. I was talking to some members on the GM Trucks Forum, um, and a lot of people are actually running these mirrors, so let's see how they look. styrofoam obviously go ahead and get this actually so it cuts right here these are the smoked lenses so they're not orange lens like the OEM mirrors but they didn't they actually currently don't make them from the looks of it I tried tracing down orange lens uh, the LED orange lights that run the daytime running lights on the outside but let's see how these look so it comes in a, a little felt bag probably just to avoid any scratches on the chrome itself so all right so here we go we have actually these look pretty nice they look oh, identical to the OEM tow mirrors except for the smoked lens on the back so i mean I, i'm sure it'll grow on me I, I think it looks nice i mean anything smoked like that's gonna look perfectly fine in my opinion but uh this one particular model has the turn signal in the glass along with the rear um clearance lights so these should turn on with the uh clearance like the cargo lights in the vehicle along with when you put it in reverse so we'll see how Everything pans out from that standpoint. And um, so I did have uh, one of the members of the forums, um, I believe his name was Pete. He actually made me a custom harness for these so everything will be plug and play. I'm also gonna do a review video of installing the mirrors, my impressions, any tips I might come across. But um, yeah, pretty excited to put these on. It'll be another week or so before I can. My truck's going in to get an undercoat um, put on the frame. Um, by the dealer, so it'll be gone for about a week, but uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to be putting these on. Everything seems to be shipped all right with this one, so we'll check the other one out here. Sorry about that, everyone. That's uh, our cat making that noise. So that mirror is good. open oh and something i just noticed here it looks like they include this wire harness in here as well so this is um i'm assuming to the clearance lamp if you wanted to hardwire it inside the vehicle but since i'm having a custom harness made um the member on the forum uh i believe his name again is pete uh makes harnesses that are plug and play so if all goes well everything should just be Swapping the new harnesses into the doors, taking my old ones out, plugging it all in, and everything should work. So I don't even think we'll need this harness, but I guess we'll see. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this one here. So same thing, it comes wrapped in the bag. Harness appears to be in good shape. Let's make sure this mirror is good. So yeah, they put that nice saran wrap on the outside to avoid any scratches. So I'm going to just keep that on there until the install is completed fully. But um, yeah, I mean, this one seems to be working, or it seems <laughs> that it'll work, that is. 
this as well as the other one. Now, the only thing I did read, there was a couple other review videos that there was some bubbling on this lower glass, this convex glass that um, up towards the top, but I don't see any on this mirror. So, I mean, I don't know if that was just a, a fluke, but also um, one thing I did want to point out is that other mirror has uh, the, well, the passenger mirror I was reading and watching videos that some people said that uh, they had some issues with it closing all the way, touching the door. Now, I don't believe that's when you close the door. I believe they mean when you fold it in, like when you're going through a car wash, that it may get close to the body. But um, I guess we'll find out once I put these on. And uh, I just want to take another look at it here just to see if I see any indications that these might fold in too far. Yeah, no, everything seems good on this one as well. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a quality mirror, to be honest with you. I'm actually really shocked at the price I got these for. I think uh, this is going to be one of those installs that will be definitely a bang for your buck because just having the signal in the mirror uh, in the glass alone is going to be nice. And I just, uh, like most guys, I'm sure, and anybody that drives a truck with uh, just the standard uh, mirrors on that come on. They, I mean, it's a little frustrating when you're pulling a trailer. You can't really see much of anything. So I guess we'll see. And I'll put, make sure to post a video once this is done, maybe even an install video when I'm going through it, just to show everybody what uh, everything entails as far as installing goes. And uh, if you guys have any questions, by all means, feel free to, to ask me in the comments section. Uh, I really do appreciate any uh, likes and subscriptions that I get from this. So uh, anybody, if yeah, like I said, if you need anything, just let me know. Thank you.